بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise and thanks is truly for Allah the Lord of everything and I ask Allah to send his blessings and peace up on Prophet Muhammad and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of judgment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, in this setting, we're going to continue with the book, The Three Fundamental Principles by the Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. May Allah have mercy upon him. Now, in this setting, we're going to speak about the message of Prophet Muhammad whilst in Medina and other things relating to his being in Medina. Now, when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, settled in Medina after migrating from Mecca, the rest of the religion was revealed to him or legislated to him. For example, rulings regarding zakah, fasting, making hajj, adhan, and other legis legislations of the religion. He worked within the 10 years, within the 10 years left of his life to establish the rulings of Allah before his death. Now, Prophet Muhammad didn't leave any good except that he showed or told his community about it. And he didn't leave any evil except that he warned his followers, followers of the evil. And the best of everything and the true meaning of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his message is to call human being and the jinn, which is on in creation, to the oneness of Allah. The oneness of Allah and doing good for the sake of Allah and every other good deeds. And the thing that he warned against was ascribing partners to Allah, shirk, and anything that Allah disliked. Now, Prophet Muhammad was sent as a messenger both to mankind and to jinn. Now jinns, a jinn is a creation that mankind cannot see. They were created from smokeless fire. Now what's the proof that Prophet Muhammad was sent to mankind as a messenger? It's a saying of Allah the Most High. قُلْ يَا أَعُوذُ بِنَا مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنِّي رَسُولَ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ جَمِيعًا This is in Surah Al-A'raf, verses 158. Say, O oh, oh, mankind, verily, I am sent to you as a messenger. Allah has completed the religion through Prophet Muhammad Now, what's the proof for this? It's a saying of Allah. This is in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verses 3. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you the religion of Islam. The death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad. The proof of the death of Prophet Muhammad is the saying of Allah. Versus Zumara, chapter Zumara. Verily, you who, verily you will die, and verily they will die too. 
then on the day of resurrection, you will be disputing in front of your Lord. The resurrection or after death. When people die, they will be resurrected on the day of judgment. What's the proof for this? It's a saying of Allah, the Most High. مِنْهَا خَلَقَنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا تُخْرُجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى From it we have created you, and, it, and in it is it that you will be taken up from again. From it we have created you, and in it we are going to return you from. And it will, and there, and you will come from it again. Now let's move on a bit. Allah also says in this book, "Wallahu ambatakum min al-ardi nabata, thumma nuaidukum fiha wa nukhrijukum ikhraja." Allah says here, the Most High says here, and Allah has brought you forth from the dearth of the dust of the dirt earth. After that, he will return you to it and bring you forth. This is in chapter Nuh. After the resurrection, the people are going to be asked about their deeds and made responsible for them. The proof is a saying of Allah the Most High. وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لِيَجْزِيَ الَّذِي أَسَاءُ بِمَا عَمِلُوا لِيَجْزِيَ الَّذِي أَسَاءُ بِمَا عَمِلُوا وَيَجْزِيَ الَّذِي أَحْسَنُوا بِالْحُسْنَى This is in chapter Najm. To Allah belongs all that is in the heaven and all that is in the earth. And he will, and he will, and that he may recruit those who did evil for the evil that they have done, and reward those who did good with what is best. The person who rejects the resurrection is a disbeliever. The proof for this is a saying of Allah. زعم الذين كفروا أن لن يبعثوا قل قل بلى وربي لا تبعثن ثم ينبأن ثم تنبأن بما عملتم وذلك على الله يسير سورة التغابن Though the disbelievers pretend that they will never be resurrected say yes by your Lord, say yes by my Lord, you will, you will certainly be resurrected. Then you will be in front of and recompensed, recompensed for what you did. And that is easy for Allah Azawajal. The message, what's the message of prophets and all the messengers? Allah sent messengers as a glad tider to people and also a warner to the evildoers. What's the proof for this? Rusulum Mubashirina wa Munzirina li Allah Yakuna lin Nasi Alallah Jatam Bada Rusul. Messengers are bearers of good news as well as warners in order that. Mankind should have no plead against Allah after the messengers. And this is in chapter Nisa, verses 165. The first of the prophets was Nuh. May Allah send peace and blessings upon him. And the last of the prophet is Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah send peace and blessings upon both prophets. And the proof for this is the saying of the Most High. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٌ مِّن رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ 
Surah Al-Ahzab, verses 40. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah, and he is the last of all prophets. And the proof that that Prophet Nuh is from amongst the first prophets is the saying of Allah. Inna awhayna ilayka kama awhayna ila nuhun wa min ba'di. Chapter Nisa, verses 163. Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, as we have revealed to Noah and the prophets after him. All messengers were sent to a nation from the start of Noah until Prophet Muhammad, ordering them to worship Allah and keep away from all forms of false deity. What's the proof of this? وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولِ لَنَا نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُ الطَّاغُوتِ and verily, we have sent to every nation a messenger proclaiming, worship Allah and abandon all tawhut. Tawhut means all false deity. What is a tawhut? Allah has made it compulsory upon us to worship him and keep away from all false deity. Allah created us. He created us from Adam. So we were once nothing, then Allah created us. So we have to worship him in oneness and in truth. That's Allah's right. Now, Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, a taghut is an object that is worshiped, followed or obeyed, and the people exceed limits with regards to it. There are, far, there are many false Taghut or false deities. The heads of Taghut are Iblis, may Allah send curse upon him. The second, he who is worshipped whilst being pleased with this. The third, he who calls people to worship him. Fourth, a person who claims that he knows something regarding the future events. The one who rules other than what Allah has legislated. Now the proof of this is Allah saying, La ikraha fi deen qad tabayyana rushtu min al ghayy wa man yakfur bi taghuti wa yu'min billahi faqad istamsaka bil udwati al wuthqa lan fi shama laha wallahu samiyun alim there is, no comp there is no compulsion in religion. Verily, the right path has been distinct from the wrong path. Whoever disbelieves in Taghut, which is false deity, and believe in Allah, the Most High, then he has grasped the most trustworthy handhold that will never break. And Allah is the all-hearer and all-knower. This is in chapter Baqarah, verses 156. This is the meaning of la ilaha illallah, the true meaning to worship Allah in oneness and in truth and to keep away from all false deities or gods, as you'll say. And the final word is, in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu the head of the matter, matter is Islam. Its pillar is prior. And the top of its hubs, hubs is jihad in the way of Allah. Now what is jihad? Jihad is the effort you make to make, effort to make, to propagate Allah's oneness, Allah's words, Allah's religion, and to belittle or make false belief or false worship in the lowest rank. So Allah is saying the highest, Allah's religion of the highest rank and the lowest thing to disbelieve in all other than Allah. 
That's really jihad. And we all should propagate Islam for the sake of Allah and to make Allah's religion the utmost and to make other false religion or deities the least in everything. That's the right of Allah. And we should work hard every day to make our living sincerely for Allah, the one above. We should think before we act. We should think before we speak. And we should work our harder and harder each day to fear our Lord before we meet Him and before we give an account for all the things that we have done in this life. Life is very short, very short. And we should be conscious of that fact. How many years will we live? 50 years, 60 years? Then we'll go. Another creation will come after us. Are we using our times wisely? Are we fearing our Lord as we ought to? Are we following the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad? We should give an account of this every minute. Do not wait until the night. Do not wait until Jummah. Do not wait until Ramadan. Or do not wait until Hajj to do all of this. Give an account for yourself now. And then try to be better in the upcoming minutes. Ask for, ask for Tawbah. Repent to your Lord Allah for His sake and not for any other. And work hard. May Allah give me and your success in everything. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.